Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to count backwards with a for loop. Um, a for loop can also count backwards so uh, so long as you can as, lo as so long as we can define the right conditions. In order to count backwards by 2, we'll need to change our initialization condition and final expression. We'll start at i is equal to 10 and loop with i is greater than 0. We'll decrement i by 2 each loop with i minus equals 2. Our variable r array is equal to an empty array um, for we've set the variable i is equal to 10. While i is greater than 0, we're going to increment um, and we're going to do it by i minus equals 2. So we're going to start off 10 and then 8, 6, 4, 2. That's being pushed in here as we're moving through this for loop. Let's change initialization and the final expression so we can count backwards by twos by odd numbers. Push the odd numbers from 9 through 1 to my array using a for loop. So my array is here. We can see that they've already actually done it, but they're starting off at 10, so they're counting backwards. This is the same as this. And so we're going to do a very similar thing to that. I'm going to say for variable, variable i is equal to. Now we could do this numerous ways, but I'm just going to do it the simplest way. 9, because we know the first thing that we want is 9. Where we can say i is greater than or equal to 1. And then we say i minus equals 2. Why? Because 9 minus 2 is 7. So the first thing we'll push in 9, and then minus 2 is 7, minus uh, 2 is 5, minus 2 is 3, minus 2 is 1, and then minus 2. But then as we come around and i is equal to negative 1, this doesn't happen, so we exit the function. And the last thing we have to do is just push the uh, uh, index element to the array. And if we were to console log my array down here, you'll see that it's 97531. 97531. Which is exactly what we wanted. If we were to console log my array up here, you'll see that it's an empty array right there. And so that is how this works. Very similar to the last lesson. So if you guys enjoyed that, um, you might want to dive into some. Of, if you want to go more into depth, I would recommend seeing the videos that I did in the last three because I talk about it a little bit more. Another thing you can do is console.log my array in here. And then you can see my array here. It's um, changing. You can see the altering of the array. And then we could console.log the index as well. And this shows us the index as we're going through. So right here it's zero, and then it's nine, and then it's and then the index is seven, and then the array is seven, adds the seven, and then it's five, and the array is nine seven five because the five was just added. The three adds, so then we have the array to be three, and then i is equal to um, one. We actually don't have that last my array printed out because it happens after the fact. Anyways, hope this helps you guys, and we'll see you in the next lesson.